Welcome back. I'm here with Football League editor Pascal Lemaire to talk about Saturday's championship match between Sheffield Wednesday and Fulham. We'll start with the home side, Pascal. Still looking for their first win since the opening day of the season. Yeah, like you say, the, the opening day was such a good start to the season. 2-0 over Bristol City, just come up from League One. But since then, they have struggled and in the two games since the international break. They went to Burnley in the first one. That was always going to be a tough game. Burnley had won three in a row going into that. But for most of the game, Wednesday matched them in that game. They created as many chances. You know, They conceded early on. It was a great free kick from David Jones. But then they got back into it and knew he with a great header and then for the rest of the game it's a fairly even contest both sides create sort of a few half chances and Forestieri looked really good on his debut he looks like to be a very good signing but then they just couldn't quite take that they had a couple of really good chances couldn't take them and then they got punished um, one poor defensive mistake led to the second goal it was a great finish from Matt Taylor and then when they were pushing for the for the equaliser Burnley caught them on the counter uh, Andre Gray got his goal and that was 3-1 so 3-1 was very harsh on them there but in the other game they go to Bolton another Lancashire side there but Bolton a completely different test you know Bolton down near the bottom really struggled for goals all season long that was a game that Wednesday should have targeted winning and it was a bit of a nothing game really Carlos Carvalho said afterwards that they, sh they deserved the win but when you look back at the stats there wasn't that many clear cut chances they started the game well Sheffield Wednesday and that but they couldn't really build on that and Bolton probably finished the stronger out of the two so it was a very even contest nil nil draw there nothing too much in that and I think certainly Wednesday fans will hope that these next three games they've got really offer a good chance to get, to get that first win since the opening day. Fulham here at home and then Brentford and Preston, two sides really struggling in the next three. So it's a good chance to get that first win since the opening day. Fulham have turned things around since the poor start to the season and they've got the bonus of no midweek game as well. Yeah, their game against Wolves was rearranged because of, there was uh, loads of games in West London on Tuesday night. So that one's been rearranged and uh, you look at the, 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 the games they've had recently, they've won three in a row in all competitions. So they've certainly turned their season around somewhat since you know that really slow start they had. The League Cup win and then the other two league wins, I wouldn't get too excited about them if I was a Fulham fan because when you look at who they're against, Rotherham and Blackburn, they're the two sides sitting 24th and 23rd in the table. So they've beaten the two bottom sides in their most recent league games, which is obviously a good thing considering they hadn't won before that. But you know they've got to certainly build on that and they've got winnable games coming up as well. This one, especially against the Wednesday side, you know, struggling and then... They've got to try and use this run to maybe push towards the top half because the squad they've got with the likes of McCormack leading the line, they've got some other star players in there. Tom Kearney was an excellent signing this summer. They have got a squad that should be pushing for the top half. They're sitting 13th at the moment. They've now got a game in hand on most of the others in the league because they didn't play in midweek. And the run they're on is a real chance to sort of push towards the top half. What's your score prediction for this one? I see a few goals in this one, to be honest. I think Wednesday, they, they created some chances against Burnley and I think they'll create more against the Fulham side who are a bit leakier than Burnley. So I think they will create chances, but I think Fulham will get on the score sheet as well. So I'm going to go for a 2-2 draw. Sports well going for a 2-0 draw.